sponsoring make sure you have the put this as part of your of your monthly expenses is having your credit monitored because things always happen and the reason that people have a lot of um a lot of uh, errors on their credit is because they don't even know what What is going on YouTube and the podcast world out there? This is Coach MT and coming at you with some more great credit value. Before I go on, uh, if you watch this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right. Uh, please give me that HBO special and the HBO special is help a brother out. So help a brother out and subscribe to this channel. Make sure you do that because uh, the value here is about to get absolutely crazy. Uh, we just launched our new Facebook group, which is called Credit and Financial Mastery, where you're going to be in a position where you will never, ever, ever, ever have to worry about money again. We're going to be dropping so much great value in there. So also make sure you join our Facebook group. Um, if you're on a podcast, the link will be down below. If you're on YouTube, the link will be down below or at the end. Or it, it, It'd be somewhere for you to join our group. You do not want to miss being out part of this Facebook group and getting access to this value and being in a position where you, you'll be able to master your finances, all right? So today, we're coming to you with some great uh, credit value, all right? And we're going to talk about five reasons why you do not want to have a free, um, a free credit report, okay? So there's a lot of places out there you can get a free credit report, like, you know, the biggest one is Credit Karma. And, you know, they give you your, your FACO score. We don't call it a FICO. We call it a FACO. All right. But uh, five reasons why your free credit report isn't enough. All right. So number one is fraud and security number alerts. The thing about having a free credit report is that you don't get alerts when things uh, pop up on your credit. Inquiries, new accounts, you don't get those alerts. Okay. Um, I just recently bought a new car. And of course, you know, they're running your credit. And while I'm at the car lot, I'm getting dings from my uh, paid for mo credit monitoring service. This is one thing that a lot of people think they, that they don't need, right? Why would I want them to have my credit monitor? Well, a lot of people don't even look at their credit. So how would you know what's going on in your credit if you don't have something monitoring? Make sure you have to put this as part of your, of your monthly expenses is having your credit monitored because things always happen and the reason that people have a lot of um a lot of uh, errors on their credit is because they don't even know when things pop up on their credit because they don't look at it, they don't monitor it and they think it's just something they they use or need or, or use when, when they need it right when i need a credit card I'll, I'll look at my credit when i need a house i'll check out my credit when i need to buy a car i'll check my credit no credit is something you're gonna need all the time if you're looking to really master your finances credit is one of the biggest and strongest pillars of your financial life all right so this is why you should have a paid a paid credit monitoring service so that you can get alerts okay number two is your credit report uh from all three bureaus is in one place now credit karma only does two they do transunion and equifax they do not do experience you have to go over to experience.com and get that as well too now you can get a free credit report over experience you can also pay for and get access to all three but you want to have access to all three reports. Why? Because there's different information on each report. Not every company decides to, to report to every credit bureau and not every company that you're looking to get credit from looks at every credit bureau, right? Like again, I just went and bought a car and they only look at Equifax. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying look at Experian, okay? And so, um, but if I didn't have access to all three, I wouldn't know what my Experian report was. Cause I asked them, hey, what, what account do you look at? And say we look at it, what credit report do you look at? We look at experience. So I look at experience. Do everything on there? Is everything good? Is how's how's reporting? Then I went and, and got the car because now I know they only look at experience. So you have all three uh, bureaus in one place. Number three is real time credit monitoring. You want things. You want to know what happens right now. Okay, right now. Okay, so getting your annual credit report requires do it yourself monitoring. That's because uh, that's because free federally mandated reports don't come with free credit monitoring alert feature okay so you won't receive a, a convenient alert if the information on one credit reports changes and there's possibly suspicious activity changing your scores on your credit report can be done 
uh, one of the first signs, it could be one of the first signs of identity theft. Identity theft is rampant, okay? And when you have a paid for service, you know immediately when there's a change. I'm telling you, I was sitting in the car lot. I mean, I was sitting in the at the dealership and ding, 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 the ding, ding, the ding. I was like, okay, I know that's them. Okay, now, if I just imagine if I, if I wasn't at the dealership and I started getting these credit monitoring dings, I'm like, what is going on, okay? So, um, having real-time credit monitoring. Uh, and then these last two things are really important because you never know when this could happen to you, all right? Information is is everywhere. You can go anywhere on the internet and find anything that, that you want right now. So number four is identity theft restoration assistance. If you are ever big of identity theft, you want to have assistance in the process because once that information is on your credit report, it is on you. It is not on the person who put it on there it's on you to get all that cleared up um if, if you had anybody in name a house a car you got a loan it's 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 in your name it's on your credit so the credit bureaus will be like hey we don't know for sure if it's you or not so they're going to report it and you're going to need assistance on getting that cleared up because if it's on your credit report and it's is and, and you're not making payments because you, it's not your account it's going to affect your credit so you're going to want to make sure you get assistance on that and then Number five is identity theft insurance because getting your credit report cleared up after being a victim of identity theft is going to cost some money. And most times you're going to need legal help. It's the legal side that you're going to need. So you might have to get attorneys involved and things of that nature. And that's going to cost. You may have funds stolen. You may have to, have to get money back. Um, I, I remember one time I had a client who was a victim of identity theft, not only their credit report, but their bank account. And they lost $10,000. As a result of that okay and they didn't have this kind of service they didn't have it now luckily the family got involved and helped them out and they were able to pay for um, you know turn to get everything back but if they'd had this this service all right and I'm gonna tell you about identity IQ paying $21 a month they would have had all of that in, as part of their process okay so there's five reasons why you want to have a paid for credit monitoring service and don't stick to the free stuff the free stuff is not going to give you all the information you need the free stuff that 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 credit score is is not one that you should you should go off of so if credit karma says you got a 700 don't believe them you could either have a 660 or a 760 all right it, there's like a 50 to 60 point swing either way so by having a paid service they can get all of the right information that has to do with your credit report and, and report the right information so that FICO can read the right information for your credit score, okay? So, number one, if you're having any credit challenges, click on the link. Make sure, at number two, join our Facebook group. Number three, I'm gonna have the link to where you can sign up for your Identity IQ service. But again, listen, if you're in any credit trouble, let us help you out, okay? We, we have helped hundreds of individuals since 2016, getting their credit together, being able to buy homes, buy cars, um and we, we, we we've done it all and then now we have a new facebook group that is going to be massive amounts of of value all the time in one place you have to search around for it join the facebook group make sure you do that this is coach mt uh subscribe to this channel like this video share it i don't care but uh, I'm, i hope you got some value today if you have any questions make sure you leave um a comment down below and also if there's any videos that you'd like for us to do that you have any questions about make sure you put that down as well and we will make that video just for you all right so coach mt and we will talk to you show sure. hey how you doing this is coach mt i want to thank you for watching this video make sure you click right here to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything click right here on this link to get your process started we have some more great free value over here for you again thank you for watching we'll see you on the next video